the end of high school, a computer came out from a company called Data General, and it was called the Nova. And first of all, they shipped, it was one of the first computers to sort of take an approach. It was strange. They not only shipped you an initial brochure introducing their company and their first product, but they shipped a big poster that you could fold out. And on one side, it had a picture of a big rack mount Nova mini computer, one of these big rectangular square boxes that you could theoretically flip all sorts of scientific stuff to. And on the other side, it had a version that would actually sit down on your desktop. It didn't have a keyboard. It just had normal binary switches and lights, but it would actually sit on a desk. And it was so intriguing to see a connection to the home with a computer. That wasn't the only love I had for the Nova computer. Looked at, on the last page of this brochure introducing a new company, they actually listed the instruction set of the computer. And they had done a very simple, elegant thing. They had sat down, rather than have 50 instructions, all with different codes, they made one instruction that every couple of bits, two bits meant which register to use for your source, two bits meant which register for the destination, three bits were which of eight operations you should perform, another bit told you if you should set the carry, and another bit said you should shift the result, and it turned out that every bit had a little meaning of its own, and it was so cleverly thought out that you could just have one instruction and you could make up any sort of algorithm that you wanted from that one instruction. Well, I sat down and decided, well, I want to design a Nova computer. And I sat down and my first pass through, I was shocked. The simplicity of the one instruction, the elegance of it, led to a simplicity of design to where the Nova was half as many chips as a PDP-11 or a PDP-8 or a Varian 620i, the other popular mini computers of the day. Half as many chips because inside the way chips connect, you really take two bits, two, two little bits in, in the instruction have one meaning as to which register, you just run two wires down to a multiplexer chip, which is a selector. And it just, it just worked out to the logic of the computer design perfectly. The Nova had a more powerful and easier to use instruction set, and yet it was half as many parts to build. So the goal of my life in all my designs was always try to make it as small as possible, as few chips as possible. For some reason, there's some goodness, some showing off in doing that.